right now you're into Urban Mix. Make sure you stay in tune with the best. Welcome back, man. That was a good vibe. I was just dancing all around, man. It was beautiful moves and all that. So when we talk about this song, is that a reason why, like, so I saw you with the moves and all that. Is that a reason that people connect to the song so much that because it gets you on your feet? Yeah, so the song, the song just gets you going. Once you hear the beat, the intro, it gets you going and you just want to dance. So whenever you hear Sue saying, you already know you're dancing because, you know, it's all about the vibe, that African Afrobeat energy. You know, everyone connects to it. And, you know, we even have the Susan dance, you know, it's just so you enjoy yourself and be lit, you know, so we're just giving them what they want. You feel me? All right. So as an artist that you've been in the system for a while, I would say like you've not get into the limelight like the way you want it. I've met you a couple of shows. I mean, you're still doing your thing and DMV, you're already making your name. How has this coronavirus affected you as an artist coming up? How has it affected you? You already in the system, you know how everything is going, but looking at this virus for the past six months, how has it affected you, your career as a as a DJ and all that? Well, in general, as a DJ, obviously, you know, there's not, we don't have uh, as much gigs as we used to. So it's obviously affected that, but it also has some positives to it, you know more time to be in the studio more time to make music you know because there's never enough time you know so it's just helped me with my inspiration personally and um i also miss you know connecting with the fans you know going to the shows performing you know, turning the place up but that's gonna come soon um it's just helped me get better basically because i spent more time on my craft all right so as as a lot of artists are saying the same thing there's most of them that i spoke to and they are saying the same thing growing up did you decide to tell it, i'm gonna do music and doing music here you said you're from nigeria right doing music here as a nigerian staying here in the united states doing music and comparing it to like being in nigeria doing music do you think like what is always preventing those guys here, artists here, not blowing up like those guys back in Nigeria doing music and still blowing up here? What do, what do you think they are doing different that you guys out here are not doing? Um, it's, it's actually funny you ask that because that's also something I hold dear to my heart. Um, what I think the problem is, is that most artists here don't, one, support themselves, and two, try to connect to the fans they have here you know because it's like for example we're in america right we're in the dmv if you have an artist from baltimore baltimore people are going to support the baltimore artists then from there the artist is going to go up go international or nationwide but here you know with the afrobeat artists i feel like there's no cohesion or connection was the word cohesion you know or connection and you know we don't see what we got right here Granted, you know, it's all about Nigeria, the Afrobeats world. That's the Afrobeat capital of the world. But I feel like... No, no, no. I don't think that is the truth. <laughs> the Afrobeat okay. capital of the uh, world no, no, is, in, is in Ghana. No, no, no. no, no, no. Have, you been to fact, fact, have you been to Fela Have you been to Fela Shrine? No, no. At, at the end of the day, have you been to Reggie Rockstone Shrine in Ghana? Okay, how about... Have you, have you, have you been, been to... Have you been to a lot of... A Bradford Shrine? shrine? Have you been to Sakodia Shrine? So we're not making that argument. How about this? We're all kings in the Afrobeat world. That's, 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 that is, so, I mean, I'm not gonna sit down here from Ghana to, for you to say, hey man, the headquarters <laughs> is, is in, is in Nigeria. No, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I have my, I everything have my... had started in Ghana. Okay, so basically you're saying the artist here, you being whether Ghanaian, you being Nigerian, being an Afrobeat artist, they're not like doing stuff together. That's why it's making it difficult for them to blow. Because everybody is doing their own thing and they don't come together. Let's go straight to the first song that you have. Sue saying, what is it about this song that is so special? Like every show that I've been, anytime this song being released, it's like people are all over the place. Yeah, you know, Sue saying actually, it was very funny how I made Sue saying, I was just vibing to the beat on my bed <laughs> and just put the you know vibe I had down for Susan and just went to the studio and put it down. It's 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 a dance vibe. It gets you 
you know, it gets you moving. You feel me? And that's why people connect to it. You know, every time they play, people are like, oh, I really love that song. So I try to, I try to make my songs um, give you the dance energy, give you the energy to be yourself, to enjoy yourself, to move. You know, I try to give it a vibe. You know, you know, you drip with the vibes too. Let's go straight to the second song. I've been listening to some of the tracks that you already have out there, and the second song, Wonder Boy. What inspired you to write a Wonder Boy song, and what is Wonder Boy song talking about? All right, so Wonder Boy, Wonder Boy actually is talking about actually. Then I was in a relationship, um, so it's just talking about you know my Wonder Girl. You know, I was going through some stuff, and I had this girl who was you know just amazing. You know, and it just gave me the inspiration. I'll be your Wonder Boy so long as you're my Wonder Girl. You know, so that's the where the name Wonder Boy came from. You know, I'm still the Wonder Boy for all my female fans out there too. But you know, I mean, talking about this song, are we gonna create a confusion by saying which lady are we talking about in the first place? Because I know maybe there might be a lot of them. But at the end of the day, if you know yourself to be the Wonder Girl, man, that's the vibe we're talking about right here. So. DJ Drips is not mentioning any name anyway, but I know you said you were in the relationship. Yeah. So are we saying that DJ Drips right here is single right now? I mean, at the end of the day. That was in the past. So now that one is, the, you know, that one until further notice. I'll until give, further notice. I'll so, give you guys the information. Man, if you know yourself and you think you're the number one, I mean, we're not making any names right here. It can be you, it can be number one, it can be number two, it can be any any of the numbers. But anyway, Wonder Boy is also a good vibe. I've listened to the song. What actually, how is, is, is your audience getting to the song and how are they relating to it? All right, so first of all, Wonder Boy is out on all platforms, YouTube, Spotify, everywhere. Go check it out. You know, check it out on... Um, and mostly even my male fans connect to the songs too it's not just uh, female fans you know so it's a song where again it's about the vibe it's about the energy for the people you know and also putting out that message there that you know i have a wonder girl and you know she's just the best you know so it's really they call me mr love song too that's also one of my you know one of my aka names so it's really a love song that expresses how wonderful um you know the lady the lady was talking about i mean we're not gonna waste time we're gonna make sure that video is already there but hey he is still here in the building so we're gonna go back to studio b and he's gonna perform the second song which is wonder boy so if you're ready He's going back to Studio B, and this is DJ Drips still in the building. We're having a good time, good vibe.
be a one number. DJ Juice, I be a one number. Wonder, wonder. I go be a wonder. Make sure you stay in tune with the best.